Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to the latest episode of Lutherville. So I actually was not going to shoot this. Uh, <laughs> this is an episode of trailer backing and me practicing trailer backing with uh, parallel parking. Now, I wasn't going to do this because parallel parking is really hard. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I was kind of doing a few test runs, practicing things. And um, I haven't done this for months. I think it's been about seven months since I drove the tractor and trailer. So I was going to skip this because I was like, I know I'm just going to get frustrated. I'm going to be terrible at it. Well, I actually did it a number of times. And so I'm going to walk you through um, I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to walk you through parallel parking. So um, I don't think I'm going to do both sides. I'm just going to do driver's side, uh, which is a little bit easier, of course, uh, because we can see things. But um, this is so much easier than it was in the past. And since I did really well when the camera was not rolling, I figured uh, maybe I would do a few runs here and uh, explain how I am managing to parallel park a really big truck and uh, trailer. So, let's back this up a little bit more before I pull out and then uh, get into position. So, when you go to the DMV and you get your DMV test, they mark out for parallel parking a space that is basically the length of the vehicle and trailer uh, plus 15 feet. So that is what I have right here. So this is, these two cones represent um, the length of my truck and trailer plus an extra 15 feet. And I should note they're about uh, 12 feet from the curb. So I can't screw up because if I do, I hit the curb. So, all right, let's get into position here. So we're a few feet out from the cones, about three feet away from that rear cone and okay this is no good I'm not straight enough let me uh, let me let me readjust myself and get a little straighter here um, and I'll be a little more comfortable doing this I probably could have still made it I wasn't off by that much but just to play it safe okay all right so first thing that we got to do we want to move that trailer relative to where we are to the left. So we're going to turn the wheel as hard as we can to the right. And we're going to just roll back until the trailer is at about 45 degrees, which is when, if I'm looking out the driver's side window, it's when the driver's side of the truck is lined up right with the middle of the trailer, right about there. Now. We stop, we turn the wheel as far as it can go to the left so we can start pulling the thing back around, right? And there we go. So we're all the way locked to the left. Now we start pulling back in and watch what the trailer does. We should start to straighten out, hopefully pretty much before we get to the curb. And right about there, we're pretty straight. So. From this point, I think we're in a pretty good position. So in theory, we should be able to just hold it. And now the trailer will start to kick back the other way. There she goes. And I'm gonna straighten out a little bit. And okay. All right. Now once it's 45 degrees again, we kick it hard the other way to pull back the front and whoa we just missed that cone so that was good so okay we're starting to come back out so that's no good we don't want to do that let's pull up a little bit I think we might have a little bit of space there I can't see the cone so hopefully I'm not hitting it um, All right, and then we pull it back up. This was not a good one, by the way. <laughs> this was pretty horrible. Um, yeah, I'm really far away from that curb. Um, I'm barely in the cones, and I really can't see that front cone at all, so I don't know where the heck I'm at relative to that. But 
Yeah, this was not this was not a good one. I'm, I'm pretty far away from the curb. So, um, but you get the general idea. So let's try it again. Uh, let's try again. Let's let's back it up. Yeah, I'm I'm real far from that curb, so that's no good. And did I hit that cone? I bet I did. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I didn't hit the rear cone. All right, and we're clear on the front. Yeah, we're very clear on the front. Okay, let's try this again. You know, sure enough, as soon as the camera starts rolling, I mess it all up. Uh, but man, you should have seen that first one. Oh my God. The first one I tried was absolutely flawless. It was perfect. So, all right, let's try this again. So I didn't go in deep enough. Uh, that was the problem with that one. And let's try this again. So I'm gonna get that back wheel of the trailer lined up with the cone. Right about there, it looks like. So, from here, we gotta turn it hard to the right again. And we pull back till we're at about 45 degrees, which is right around there. Now we stop, we turn it real hard to the left, as hard as it will go. And we get her rolling back to that side and we'll stop right about there and now I think maybe we'll straighten out a little bit okay and then keep going wait a minute is that right left no I just went to the right and yeah that's yeah okay <laughs> All right, hopefully we got a little tighter this time. Wait till we get about 45 degrees, right around there. We'll start turning the other way. Now we turn back. You know, it's so funny because this was so difficult for me. Man, parallel parking was so hard when I was doing all the training because I was, again, so nervous about it. And you know, it's like, oh man, I'm screwing up and I'm making a mistake. And, but now, that there's no pressure, it doesn't matter how many times I mess this up, it's a heck of a lot easier. Oh boy, that's really bad. But the good thing is, I'm pretty far from the cone, so I can straighten this out a bit. There we go. Kind of ease that in there. All right, now turn it hard. And let's see, how are we doing on this side? Oh boy, we're real close to that curb. That's okay though. We still got a little bit of room. We got a little bit of room. Now we can pull it up. And I think I'm within the cones, I hope. Nope, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. That way, okay, <laughs> there we go, there. There we go, now she's straight. Okay, now I got the front wheel straight. I think this was actually a good one. So how far are we from that rear cone? Now we got a ways to go. Let's back it up a little bit more, shall we? All right, I think we're in. I think we're in, let's take a step out and see how we look. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we're real good on this side. Uh, I think I went back a little too far. I got too much room up here. Uh, let me see what we're looking like in the back. Let me come on this side so you can see me in the camera. And no, I did not leave the cone. I still got a good, uh, oh man, I got about three feet there. And I'm way in on this side. Let's get a better look through this handheld shot as to how well I did with the parallel parking because it's a little hard to tell in that far away shot on the tripod. So. Right here, you can see just how close I managed to get to the parking blocks, which I'm really happy with. I got got in really tight there. In the front, of course, we can see about maybe 12 feet of space between the front bumper and the front cone. And as we come back to the rear of the trailer, we can see there's probably about maybe, what, three feet of space between the rear cone and the rear of the trailer. So definitely made it 
inside the box and once again we can look down on this side and see how close I am to the parking blocks and here we can see the cones and obviously I'm in about what probably two feet away from the cones so yeah definitely made it inside the box and I'm really happy with the way this turned out like I said I hadn't done this for a while so to parallel park this well after just a couple tries is uh, something I was really excited about. So that one was excellent. Um, so there we go. There's parallel parking with a big truck and trailer. Now, like I said, it's a heck of a lot harder to do it on the passenger side than it is to do it on the driver's side. But uh, like I said, I've tried a few of these. I've done a few runs and I was really happy because they were turning out pretty well. So I just wanted to put that on video and get that recorded so I can remember some of the stuff that I'm doing. Uh, it's funny, it's so much easier now, man. It's so much easier when you don't have all that pressure of having to take your DMV test and going like, I have to get this right in two tries, otherwise I fail. You know, it's just a lot of pressure. Now, it's like, pfft, I can do it 10 times. If I screw up, who cares? And then what happens? I keep nailing it like one right after the other. Of course, like when you're not nervous, it's so much easier. So anyway, thank you so much for watching uh, this episode of Lutherville. Be sure to check out some of the other episodes I have. And as always, if your ambitions do not scare you, then they're not big enough. Give me hope.